Welcome back to another episode of Becoming a Practical Machinist. My name is Rebecca Wolfinger. And I'm Curtis Wolfinger. And on today's episode, we're going to talk about how Autodesk Fusion has been a essential tool to our company. Now, if you guys remember, Millspec Manufacturing did not immediately start as a brick and mortar machine shop. We actually began the company by offering CAD and CAM services remotely. In fact, I think I actually have a screenshot of what our website used to look like. Let's throw that up on the screen for a second. We've come a long way, haven't we? Now with offering all these services, we needed a software that offered a CAD system to be able to do product design and engineering, as well as a CAM system. Without costing an arm and a leg, am I right? Right. And Fusion ticked all those boxes. Now, another cool thing about Fusion is it's cloud-based, okay? So for my customers in California, Texas, and across the nation, with their authorization to their teams, I am able to program their parts and do model updates and revisions, and they would have it instantaneously because we're all connected at the same time. Now, let me go ahead and uh, show you more than just programming what we use Fusion for. Now, one thing I like about Fusion is on the CAD side of it, in the design workspace, if you have any uh, questions or wondering what these icons are, all you have to do is hover over them and just read the description, okay? I mean, it's very user-friendly and they have a lot of resources to teach you and get you certified in how to use this software. So now in this design workspace, another cool feature is called Capture History, okay? Now with this, because I had to build these models for our customers uh, in product design, um, I'm able to show you a little video of how this part was made, like in the design workspace. Pretty, pretty simple, pretty quick, you know, and it came together very nicely because th this customer also wanted to make sure that it would be able to do uh, what he intended it to be done, used for. <laughs> We also went and did a simulation test on it for uh, structural buckling. And this is the result of it. So not only am I using Fusion for camming, but also CAD design and simulation testing of virtual products like this one. Okay. So we tested out, we got a virtual product in the design, and then we make it, of course, in the manufacturing workspace, okay? And in manufacturing workspace, what I like about Fusion is their post-processor library is, like other CAM softwares, you have to pay for one post-processor, okay? For Fusion, you can literally just go to their library and if they have it, you know, you're golden. You can, and if they don't have it, you can contact them and they can get you a custom one. So it's really cool. But this, this library is very vast for what I do for remote programming it helps me out tremendously, okay? And it's not just CNC machines either. Like there's also uh, 3D printers for additive manufacturing. And the uh, fabrication here is another one for like laser tables and programming laser tables, plasma tables, uh, oxycetylene tables. You can do that as well. It's really cool. Okay. And with this uh, in the manufacturing on the cam side, you can do what is called an inspection report too, that I don't see anybody else doing those. 
you can set it up and run through the inspection on here and it will create an inspection report. Okay. Let's see here. I'll show you guys the report for this. Literally shows the name of the dimension that you label. All right, what type it is, what the nominal would be for, you know, you put that data in and then what you measure yourself and then it will actually calculate the deviation for you and tell you if it's intolerance or out. So it's really cool, especially for like first article inspections, you know, you want to print that out, be professional, send it with the part to the customer so you can get the green light for production. Okay, and it, it helps out a lot. Looks clean, professional. It expedites a lot of things. On a Fusion, I'll show you another part that I did for a customer, which is really cool. Okay, this, this one right here is a little battery packs going here and it gets mounted to a chiller, okay, to keep battery packs cool. Now, the customer, he came to me with an idea on a napkin. I, I did, did my best to design it. We ended up getting a really good design out of it. After this gets done with the capture history, you'll see it doesn't take much in to create the full on part. Another thing in design, um, you can do sheet metal too. I've done sheet metal stuff. Good manufacturing. But with this, you have the data of what temperatures are going to be put into these battery pack areas. All this right here, where the chiller is going to be mounted, and then where it's going to be cold. It's going to be hot for the batteries. And doing a thermal test. Now, we made it out of aluminum right here but he also wanted a study done with magnesium to see also how it would differentiate in temperature. But being able to do these studies and simulation helps out a lot, okay? It gives you a lot of data, I mean, a lot of data to run off of, to update, to make revisions. Also in rendering, because you know we made that product and whatnot, before I even made that part he wanted a render, a photorealistic uh, image of the part. And I did that for uh, the gentleman. And he was able to take that photo and put it into a presentation so he can get funding for a patent and product line. I'll show you here. See? Yeah, a photorealistic image of the product. And he was able to take that and work with it but also with this i was able to also make him prints and again this is all from one software and i've used the generative design workspace as well for a set of uh, motorcycle forks and trying to minimize the weight on those as well as uh like control arms and trying to minimize weight, but you got to put in the data and everything for the function that it's being used for and the actual loads and constraints. You put all that information in and it uses AI to your advantage. It's really neat. And then also uh, the animation workspace. I've created uh, explosion and the explosion, uh, when you have multiple components, in a, an assembly file, you can go into the animation workspace and it will create an auto explosion if you want it to, and it'll explode the whole part out. All right, and then you can put notes on each individual component of what it is and you know, talk about it for a presentation and make a full on movie uh, for that product. Again, this is all just one software in which. I haven't seen it anywhere else but Autodesk Fusion. So if you're thinking about taking that leap of faith and starting your own machine shop, 
or just going the remote CAD CAM programming route, I cannot recommend Autodesk Fusion enough. Especially for the price point, it really just cannot be beat. Nope. But uh, if you guys have any questions about Autodesk Fusion, you can reach out to me. I'll help you as best I can. Mm -hmm. And as always, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you never miss another episode of Becoming a Practical Machinist. We'll catch you next time. Take it easy.